Uh, pretty much, it's, this is a, a, a woman's ego battle of a drag race of who who's going to not give up first. And they really can't uh, do much about the real estate battle. I mean, there could be a team who's uh, got some power to show up out of nowhere because there is so much room. You see 2016 on the riders' right-hand side coming up, the yellow jersey of Dragu with just one teammate behind her. Again, not the best sprinter in this group. Dragu has got that yellow jersey because of winning it on a climb yesterday on a technical, difficult course in the rain. So today, a flat, fast sprint, not really her kind of game. So it's going to be up to her to do something very special to hold on to that yellow jersey while the United Healthcare train Frankie is just setting up perfectly. And I'm surprised. It's almost like Dragu is leading out some of her other teammates. Normally, you wouldn't see the yellow jersey be the first one from that team. Her teammate should be in front of her helping to bring able to bring her up. But that's a team pair, player that Ali Dragu is. She won yesterday. She wants to be able to help out her teammates. And right now, United Healthcare continues to drive it. When they come around, they're going to have one lap to go. Dragu might be working for her teammate, Allison Ironsman, who finished yesterday in fourth position so really uh, almost equal points with a lot of these riders you know, because it is a points based system even though Dragu won solo with a large gap over a minute this is different story I mean it's just points against points so you know a lot of riders still in literal contention now United Healthcare while they're on the front controlling things looks like it is Pepper Palace on the other side getting gaining some speed while Tipco looks like they are starting to to maintain position off of the left hand side of the front there, as you mentioned with Kendall Ryan, but coming into this finish rate, gonna, they're gonna see one lap to go, just 1.5 miles before the winner of the women's edition here at Tour of Utah. Look at that effort on the front, giving it everything with one lap to go, trying to do anything she can to keep that pace high, to give her teammates the best chance to be able to win. Of course, the combination on Pepper Palace Presented by the Happy Tooth was Tina Pick on that team, Sarah Fader, Meredith Miller, Julie Kalicia, Laura Cahort, jo uh, Jorgensen, excuse me, and Christina Goki Smith. They're still battling right next to United Healthcare, not giving out an inch. In the green and blue is Team Tipco. They are sitting on United Healthcare. This is shaping up to be a great sprint right at the end. Early lead out there by Pepper Palace, United Healthcare coming over the top, taking it taking control of the field once again solidly in position with four riders making it difficult for any of the other teams to really kind of gather up as they stay right onto that inside curb everyone else has to reshuffle and reshuffle off to the side no. see visit dallas trying to make their way up cole vita on their wheel yeah, I, I don't know what they want. an earlier attack earlier an attack by stumhofer there way. Looked like it was pretty solid, but United Healthcare still in the front. Now just down to three riders after burning off one of their one of their teammates before uh, before this turn here. Final riders into the final corners of the stage two in the last day of the Larry H. Miller Tour of Utah for the women's race. United Healthcare has been dominant in the first two intermediate point sprints taking both of them and they continue to drive it on the front. Corin Rivera is the rider in third. This this rider on the front has a long ways to go right now. Uh, this is a very long lead out there on their way into the finish straight. Three UHC riders I see. Pepper Palace off to the left hand side. Ali Dregu in the yellow jersey is trying to make her way up there. Gaining anything inside the top five will get you a lot of points to add to your previous day's total but Still very wide open now. Pepper Palace moving up on the right-hand side. Tina Pick, very recognizable riding style. She's been around for a very long time, winning hundreds and hundreds of times. Corinne Rivera forced onto the front now as her second-to-last teammate has been wrapped up. Looks like Hannah Barnes in third position. Pepper Palace moving in there, but Ali Dragu continuing to move forward, trying to get into the top five. Well, Corin Rivera right now taking over that lead-out duty for Hannah Barnes because Hannah Barnes has the lead. All she has to do is keep that pace and hope that her sprinter will be able to do something. And Hannah Barnes coming around possibly in third. Corin Rivera, look at the gap. She's just going to take it from the front. Nobody able to react to Corin Rivera, but this is a long ways out. Over 250 meters to the line. Corin Rivera on the right-hand side of the screen. Schneider's coming up the middle from IS Corp. Can she catch her before the line? It is a drag race. It's going to be close. And Corin Rivera takes it with, I think, Hannah Barnes Dude, also second getting position. second. position, one, two, such a long sprint. Looks like it was very, very taxing there. for those riders to hold it from that final corner, but 
Wow, what a fast sprint by that crew. What an incredible sprint by United Healthcare. And so, oh, there's the crash. Her foot came out, and so then she ends up falling right at the finish line. She nails her knee. Definitely a scrape there. What, that is horrible luck for the rider from the Canyon Cycling Team, 166. Oh my God, I feel horrible. Hannah Mugi taking a horrible crash right at the finish. And it looked like she really, she just pulled out her foot as one of the United Healthcare riders are going over to see and make sure that one of her uh, you know, fellow cyclists are okay. But Corin Rivera posting up at the finish and I think her teammate, she looks over, she's gonna see possibly Hannah Barnes in second and then Schneider in third. So Barnes, Hannah Barnes will take the overall lead as Corin Rivera is acknowledging that, that hey, we just won here in Utah. The divide and conquer technique worked perfectly because because uh, Rivera went early and went uh, alone, it was up to the other riders to really kind of react. And Hannah Barnes got a free lead out all the way up. Muscle, she's the, one of the fastest sprinters around. 2014 U.S. Criterium champion. Two riders congratulating themselves. A fantastic race by the win by the women in United Healthcare's Hannah Barnes takes the overall lead. We're going to head back to the men's race. Right now, there's still currently five riders that are off the front. Three minutes and 50 seconds. Getting down into the final 70 kilometers.